A developing story at Craig Municipal Airport in Jacksonville. Earlier this evening, something went wrong with the plane's landing gear. It happened as the plane was landing. So far, we've not heard of any injuries in this. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avenue now joining us live from the airport with more on what happened. Eric? Kent, that plane was making its final landing approach here on runway 14 when something went wrong with the plane's nose gear. And get this, we are learning tonight that this is not the first time that plane has crashed during a landing. A close call when this single engine Piper Turbo Lance airplane crashed while landing. News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth says that although it's too early to exactly determine what caused the crash, he can't rule out the possibility of a problem with the nose gear. This is a retractable gear airplane. It appears that the main landing gear is fully extended and locked. When the airplane came in for a landing on runway 14, the nose gear was either not extended or collapsed uh, upon touchdown. Booth says the nose gear is a highly stressed piece of machinery on an airplane. From time to time, it's not unusual to see them collapse on landing. News for Jax obtained a history of the aircraft linked to the tail number. Seven years ago, the plane suffered a gear up landing at an airport in Arizona. In that crash, none of the landing gear was deployed. Then in March of last year, the aircraft suffered a hard landing in California and was sold for salvage. It's unclear if the new owners were aware of the plane's previous problems. According to flight tracking data, the plane took off from Dunellen, Florida shortly after 6 p.m. and touched down at Craig Airport just before 7. But it was a touchdown that, according to Booth, caused anywhere from 60 to $100,000 worth of damage to the plane. Booth says it will take that much just to uh, replace the uh, propeller, repair the landing gear, and also to take the engine apart and put it back together, but taking that engine apart piece by piece just to see if any parts of that engine uh, were badly damaged.